Hey everybody, this is PJ Riley from Competition Archery Media out here at the True Ball and Black Eagle Pro Am in London, Kentucky. We are out here for another episode of Meet the ASA, sponsored by PSE. And this weekend, we're going to talk to some folks from the Young Adult Male Pins class. This is a class for young people who are 18 and under. And it is a pins class. So fixed sites when these folks come out there to compete, they don't have the movable sites of the open class. Let's go meet some of these competitors. All right, so we're here, young adult male pins. I'm here with Hunter Stevens. Hunter, where are you from? I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. Cincinnati, Ohio. How long have you been shooting ASA? I've been shooting ASA for three or four years. And have you always shot this class or have you been moving up? Um, I used to shoot open and then I switched back to pins just because it's what I enjoy to do more. So that's what yeah, I used to. What do you like about that? We talk to folks who like pins and, you know, that's mainly their bow hunter setup. But what do you like about it? I like, um, it's just more enjoyable for me. Like, I don't have to focus as hard, I guess. Like, when I shot open, I was very much more, like, serious about it. And this is just more enjoyable for me. It's more of a fun thing. So that's what you're not doing. you're not as mad when you miss. Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, tell us about schooling. Where are you at there? And what do you where do you go? Uh, I go to a school called Butler Tech and I go there. It's like a technical school. I go for landscape and architectural design. Nice. Yeah. What you what level are you? What year are you? there? I'll be going into my senior year this year. OK, so um, ASA and shooting this, what is archery for you? Where does it fit in? Is this something you see yourself doing forever or what, what's archery to you? Yeah, so I got into archery just to hunt. So it's something I see myself doing forever. Uh, and it also gave me college opportunities. So that's why I pursued competitive archery. So yeah, I see it as something I'll do forever. So in at the upper level, do you think you'll stick with pins or go back to open? Uh, I'm not sure at all. I have no clue. <laughs> I should ask you, how's your day going today? Uh, it's going really good. It's just dark out there, so can't see too much. All right, man. Well, good luck, and Hunter, we appreciate your time. Thank you, sir. All right, back here, a young adult male pins, Garrett Terry. And Garrett, I was just asking you, I don't know all the rules for young adult male pins. First off, what's your max distance out here? Well, our max yardage, it's about... 40 yards or 40 yards on the money. And this is a known class? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, how about your bow? Tell me about what your limitations are there in the pins class. Well, you can only shoot 280 feet per second, and there's a give or take in some of that. Yep. But, and then you could only have one pin, or no, not one pin. You could have multiple pins, just can't move your sight. Can't move them. Gotcha. And your stabilizer is limited? Um, Front bar can only be 12 inches from the bow. Gotcha. Well, all right, Garrett, tell us where are you from? Where are you at in school? What are you doing? Well, I'm from Safford, Arizona, and um, I will be going into my senior year. Gotcha. From Arizona. How long have you been shooting ASA? Oh, uh, this is my second year. Second year. Arizona. Is it big out there? I don't know about ASA in Arizona. Um, No, it's not really big at all. There ain't much asa out there my parents they're the asa directors for arizona so we're trying to get it out there now yeah and to do people seem to be receptive to it i think i talked to them before yes sir everybody seems that they're gonna love it i mean there's a bunch of like field and ibo yeah. stuff out there and they say they're all gonna they're all gonna love it what do you like about this game in particular because you see different types of archery out there in Arizona, but what do you like about this game? I just, it's a lot more strategic, a lot more strategic than just shooting at a dot. Yeah. <laughs> you can't see that, what you're aiming at down there all the time. No, sir, not even close. How's your day going so far? It's steady Eddie. I mean, could be better, could be worse. Find where it is right now. All right, well, we appreciate your time, Garrett. Good luck with the rest of your round. Yes, sir, thank you. 
All right, continuing on young adult male pins. I'm here with Wiley Bollinger. And Wiley, I, I just found out 18 is the maximum age for young adult. Correct. Whereabouts are you from? Um, I'm from Eureka, Kansas. Kansas. All right. Another the southeast oh. corner of it. I'm getting all these different states that I don't hear much from. How did you get hooked up with ASA? Uh, last year, my dad had mentioned it to me. Or two years ago, my dad had mentioned it to me. And I was kind of on the fence about coming to do it. And then last year, I decided I'd commit and start going to these shoots. Yeah. Um, is there ASA in Kansas? Um, not a lot of ASA. There's a that we have a couple ASA qualifiers in the state a ASA competition, but it's not a big thing. Right. Uh, what do you think of it so far? I guess I should ask. I'm enjoying it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Different from it. Do you have 3D competition in Kansas? I yes. guess I we do have 3D competition in Kansas, but most of the targets are IBO. So it's a kind of a different ball game coming to these shoots and having to hit the upper and lower. But um, how old are you and where are you in school? Tell us about that information. Um, I'm 16 years old and I'll be going to uh, Eureka High School, and it's in uh, well, obviously Eureka, and then I'll be a junior okay. in high school. So, so you come out here from Kansas to these ASAs. I guess you said this is your second year. Yes, this is my second year. Have you come to all the ASAs? I have now. I have hit all of them because I I missed this one last year, but I went to all the other ones. Missed this one last year, and do you see why you missed it, or are you liking this power line? Um, I'm seeing why I missed it, but it's not too terrible. So yeah, um, for you, where does archery fit in? Like, how much time do you get to practice in a week? You probably got a busy schedule. Uh, I get quite a bit of practicing in between i have like between working and stuff like that but my our family actually owns an archery shop in eureka uh what's the name of it rathnack archery and range gotta give him a shout out and then so i get quite a bit of time i can go in there anytime i want and shoot so that's that's a definite definite bonus to that so shooting that how come you choose the pins side of the equipment just because i find it easier to use my pins because I don't have to worry about moving my sight every time or if I got it just dialed in just right. I can just draw back, know that that pin's 40 yards, and just use that pin. I saw, I know a couple of the print, uh, pros misset their sights today. You don't have to worry about that. Yeah, that's not a problem for me. Um, so what do you see yourself with archery? Do you see yourself competing, you know, for years to come? Do you want to get to the pro level? What's it, what's it look like for you? I'm not for sure what I'm looking for in archery yet, but... I started out hunting, of course, when I was 11. So I've been I've been shooting a bow for quite a while, but I've only been doing competitions for the last three or four years, big anyway. Yeah. And then, but I see, I definitely see me doing it for the rest of my life for sure. Not for sure where it'll take me if on the pro side of things, but. Gotcha. Well, how's your round going today? Uh, started out pretty slow, but it's starting to pick up. So we'll see if it'll keep picking up. All right, appreciate your time, Wiley. Good good luck with the rest of your round. Perfect. Thank you.